going to show you today one of my favorite recipes for a smoothie. And this is one of the things I really love right after practice is to take a bunch of ingredients and put them in my awesome blender and make a really tasty smoothie. Since it's still mango season in Florida, this is going to be a mango coconut water smoothie. So the first thing is I've already got some cut up mangoes. If you want to know how to slice up some nice juicy Florida mangoes, you can check out my other video on that. And then I've got my Vitamix blender, which is this rockin' blender. And I'm gonna put actually all of these, which is about half a mango or maybe like a cup of mangoes and they're all gonna go right in. Next thing that I'm gonna add, because I love the combination of mangoes and pineapple, but I don't love pineapple itself in a smoothie because I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, the fiber of pineapple in the smoothie is not my favorite. But Vita Coco makes this really awesome coconut water with pineapple juice, or you can also just take fresh pineapple juice, which is also great if you have a juicer and you want to juice fresh pineapple. Or you can buy this nice little easy thing, open it, and I'm going to pour the whole thing right in. Coconut water also makes the smoothie a little lighter, a little more fresh tasting. And then, because I like a little bit of tang, I also love Florida oranges, I'm going to add a little splash of orange juice. Just add that in, you can just do it to taste. Um, I don't really like super thick smoothies. But, um, you know, after you add everything in, then you can put it in a blender. Now, if you want to add a little bit of protein, this is one of my favorite sources of vegetarian um, protein. It's actually rice protein. It's vanilla flavor. In order to get that in there, I need a spoon, which here it is. So I also don't like to put a lot of protein because I think you can kind of, you know, overdo it with protein powder. So the serving on this is a heaping tablespoon, and that gives you 12 grams of vegetarian brown rice protein, but I don't even put that much. I just put like a small little taste, just enough to give it a little bit of creaminess. Now the next secret ingredient is spirulina. I love spirulina and I love it in smoothies. So here's a nice jar of powdered spirulina and this is a really nice, good source. I got this from the Glacier Farms Organic Market here in Miami. And you can add that in also just a small little taste of it. I don't like to overdo it with the additives or the, not really the additives, the extras you could say. Otherwise you'll lose the taste of the nice fresh fruit that's sort of the basis of the whole smoothie. Now, put the top on, nice and easy. And then what I like to do on the Vitamix is start it off on variable. It's going to get real loud when I turn it on to so start off on variable and then slowly turn it all the way up and then go to high. So you'll see that on. It's just like a light movement, and then all the way up. And then to make it really good, all the way up. Kind of like to exit the same way. I don't know, I just kind of feel like going right from high all the way to low is a little too intense. So it makes it this nice, cool, kind of orangey green color. Some people might be afraid of it, but I think it's really tasty. So this is a mango, coconut water, pineapple juice smoothie with spirulina, a little bit of brown rice, soy protein. And that's really good. Um, the, the, the spirulina and the soy protein just soften the fruit a little bit. The coconut water gives it this nice, light, creamy texture. So give it a try and enjoy.